Meek Mill has finally spoken out about the Diddy case. And this is what he has to say right here. He says, I want to hire an investigation team, 100K cash, to find out every specific detail involving Meek Mill name to Diddy case. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Meek. Anything to do with Buddy. Something not right. Meek, are you... Nigga, you don't need to hire people for 100K. You could just look on the internet yourself. All the evidence is there. Did he forget about the Little Rod lawsuit talking about how Diddy told Little Rod, his producer, that he done smashed you in the butt? Or that one video of Diddy calling you daddy? Bro, the list goes on. But he made another he made another tweet right after that. This is what he had to say. He said, the streets know what's up with me. That's not the case. We talking about business size. Somebody powering these bad campaigns with Meek Milky. Again, I got 100K for a thorough investigation of who's powering and how exactly my name is connected to this. My guy, you went to parties with matching outfits with Diddy. Meek Milky, you don't need to pay 100K. And I'm not the only one saying this. Look at what 50 Cent had to say, because you already know 50 Cent began on people's ass. Um, Diddy and Meek Mill, this is what he said. He's, this is the caption of the video. He said, they've been doing Meek dirty. He want to pay 100K to find out who doing this. Yo, Meek, is that you? That's Diddy. Alright, so now this is the lawsuit right here that clearly talks about everything that we need to know. It says right here, it says, Mr. Combs went so far as to share a video of Stevie J. Oh, man, wait, hold up. I was supposed to blur that one out, too. Okay, hold on. It says, Mr. Combs informed, it says, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in, you know what I'm saying, shitty, shitty, bang, bang, with rapper Redacted, R&B singer Redacted, and Stevie J. Look at this. So you see after right right after it says rapper, it has the little number five and it's redacted. That's just to keep other individuals private. But next to five, they just give a detailed description of who that rapper could be. And it says he is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Meek Mill, where are you located? Meek Mill is located in Philadelphia because he's so hard. He couldn't even do Philadelphia. It's Philadelphia for Meek Mill. I think he's just trying too hard to be hard. Pause. Pause. All right. Let's continue, bro. <laughs> let's, let's continue. I'm not going to read because we, we, we have to pay attention with what we're saying. So that's evidence number one for you, Meek Mill. You know what I'm saying? Family, I don't know how he doesn't see this, but that's evidence number one if you were wondering. for that. Give me 100K. You know what I'm saying? Give me 100K. I'm doing the investigation for you. Here's here's evidence number two. We need to get into evidence. Why in the world did you go to the party mansion with Diddy? And not only that, another question. Why is Meek Mill over here gripping this dwarf's head like that? You know, that's just disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? It was already enough when you come and matching with Diddy, knowing what y'all be doing, the way you leaned in with your little eh, eh. family. Come on, he need to get... He owes me 100K because I'm over here doing the thorough investigation for him. I feel bad for this little man down here. Who knows what they did with him? Had him as a little boy toy, literally. That's just messed up. No, that's literally just messed up. I'm not going to lie. That's actually messed up. <laughs> Yo! Son. At least give an explanation for that audio right there because we have other people coming out talking about how, you know, Jaguar. We're going to get into the Jaguar right part, but we need an explanation for that. I, that does definitely sound like Meek, Milky, and Diddy. Not going to lie. Sounds like him. <laughs> man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you, I love you. Yeah. Whoa! Who the hell did this? 
You made this edit. Who made this edit right here? <laughs> Who made this damn edit, bro? AI generation, get it out of hand. Disgusted. And fuck milk, running the fuck around, talking about expensive pain. No. In his ass. Wait, this is Philly you're talking about now. Wait a minute, Jack. Fuck me. Wait a minute. He's a fucking fruit loop. He did he five. This is Philly. He's a deep fried <laughs> period. Damn. He did he fried. He did he fried. He the did he do our bop. Fuck me. Real rap. You think that audio that they put out was real? Yeah, that was real. Nikki put that up to here. That that Nikki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. Man. She been waiting to drop that shit on me. Oh. She just wasn't gonna tell nobody it was Diddy, but now that Diddy out there, why not? So Damn. then who's the guy who's claiming he recorded it? Yeah. Oh, the somebody bouncer. that got paid. Yeah, he said, like, I was yeah, standing outside the door. Yeah, somebody that got paid. Yeah. Hey, look at This is the thing. We have Jaguar Wright speaking on the audio saying Nicki Minaj leaked it. And we have Meek Mill saying nothing. He just wants a thorough investigation. Here we are doing it. And we, it's not looking good for you, Meek. Just like it wasn't semen or fluid that D Justin Bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club with Trey Songz on the lookout. The images are there. Diddy five. Went through the Diddy modifications. Hashtag no Diddy. Hashtag no Diddy. No Diddy. Uh, do you have any any views on Usher? Because a lot of things have come back to where Usher. They talk about his Usher. I'm tired of Usher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Goofy bitch. No, oh, damn. Got your ass ripped open, and the only thing it inspired was loyalty. They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White Canada and take him to the flavor of fuck off, the kitty edition. Get his ripped open. Damn, you know, it, it, it's just unfortunate. Because unfortunately, Meek Mill didn't know that he just had to say one thing. You gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. He just had to say one thing before this disaster happened. But now it looks like he's he's hanging out with Fruit Cups. People looked at this video right here and said, yo, it's just undeniable. He's not even doing nothing, but he's just walking extra zesty. And sometimes you just can't help it. Look at man's right here, too. Yes, Why is his wrist so limp? His wrist needs needs some extra structure in it. <laughs> needs some ligaments. You never thought me milk on the gun to ride with you. Celebrities on Did he turn around like that? Sound like my man? Pause, pause. I'm just saying how he turned around. That's exactly how he turned Everybody around. Everybody helps bro. me, cause you got your ass beat in tennis. You got your ass beat. Keep going. Count out loud. Count out loud. Huh? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't cheat everybody have to I thought he was from Philadelphia. Cause you missed this sh Meek Mills. Well, he said a Philly rapper. You understand? And it was retracted, redacted in the paperwork to that. Because first of all, it had Meek Mills, it had Stevie J, they had redacted their names, and they had Usher. And they redacted their names and just said a uh, performer of the Super Bowl and a Philly rapper. Everybody 
kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they, my man, listen here, man. My dudes in Philly, I got some real strong dudes in Philly. They don't play that shit. And they probably embarrassed for the fact to see that Meek Mills, one of the street guys that came out of there, got caught up in this holly weird shit. This Holly Witch, whereas that he's dressing like he dressing the same, sh he dressing like Diddy, hugged up with Diddy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's why I think that Lil Rod know a lot of, sh but I know this: two men dress alike. It's just like two men laying down. When they both get up, <laughs> they both homos. <laughs> <laughs> what? And that's real talk, yeah. bro. My man, you come to, you go to a party, dog, and the nigga got the same shirt you got on. I'm taking my shirt off. I'm walking around in a t-shirt. That is true. And then, not Take to shit. blow Meek Mills up out the water or anything like that, it was said that they checked his Google search and all the other sh and he was searching for some online gay porn and all the other sh like Damn, that. Damn, bro. Come mm -hmm. on, Meek Milky. That shit is crazy, bro. You from Philadelphia. But, listen. Those are, those are what, you know, it's crazy that money, that lifestyle, and you trying to fit into something, get you. These guys never set out to do all this. Sh Meek Mills, when he got into the game, he didn't set out to be a uh, uh, question about his manhood with Diddy. But he put that self, himself in that position. I was like looking, I go, oh, that should be going, right? So, so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. The okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Let me show you, nigga, back in the city, nigga. Put your Rockefeller style oh. in the air. Let me show you, nigga. Jacob Rothschild's has on his wall of Lucifer. I mean, they look identical. Um, so, I mean, there's just so much occult and esoteric mixed up with the, the, the state of New York. I mean, it's like uh, even Washington, you know, what they call Washington, D.C. today was uh, at one point, it used to be called Rome, Maryland, and it was owned by a guy named the Pope. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, and there's seven hills. In, in Washington as well. So, I mean, it's like there, there's so much occult mixed up in the United States. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot going on up there in New York. Yeah, you've got the seven hills of um, uh, uh, in Rome. Capitoline Hill is only one of them. Capitol Hill, obviously, is a, is a they've just placed, have taken that cult, a Babylonian cult, and moved it. Um, separated it into, into Britain, into Washington, D.C., and the Vatican, obviously. Um, but it's all there. What is happening in London? This look like some weird satanic ritual. Like, what would possess you to paint your face white as a grown ass woman? <laughs> Yo. When you want to go, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Cuts Drake's soul. 
It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to like, this is his job to go against God. Oh. Oh. And it cuts his soul. Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian and Universal. Wow. He's like, you know, like, man, my daddy got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. my daddy controlled the spins. My daddy got the DSPs. My daddy, Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucy. So all of his streams in the number ones is controlled by someone named Lucy. 33rd Parallel has most of the world's banking? Correct. Is that correct? Right? Yes. That's insanity. Like, why? what are the chances worldwide they all chose there? Because 33 is the number of influence. Just like there's certain waypoints all over the earth and you yes. have pyramids. Uh, oh all over so you're the first person to know about this this was hard to find ley lines energy points that crisscross the world Correct. and that's where car accidents happen on the crosses okay. and and they would build churches on certain ley lines but and mostly pyramids. All, pyramids all the pyramids, pyramids in yeah. jesus why are you talking about there? all the biggest pyramids in the world are not in egypt they're in bosnia they're under they're under the ground that, that means they've never picked a hill and said go build that temple of worship there they would pinpoint yes. where to build. Yes. yes. <laughs> and is that the same for big NFL game, Super Bowl? Super Bowl, it's more about the halftime show, more about the influence the kids, the be a certain way, the propaganda. If you look at the halftime show, it's always some six And then it's still oh, no, doing yeah, it's always some worse. So I think that's like one of the best ways for them to brainwash the side. That's the lie that they're from Mars. Look, space, the atmosphere is really well monitored right both for military for defense reasons but also because like it would be nice to know when asteroids are coming and there's no evidence has never been any evidence that there are lots of these objects these vehicles coming into our atmosphere from somewhere else some other planet there's no evidence of that at all hmm so they're from here and they've been here for thousands of years whatever they are and um it's pretty clear to me that they're spiritual entities and they've been here for a long time and there's a ton of evidence that are under the ocean and under the ground. So yep. they've, they've tracked that? They've tracked things going 500 knots under the sea? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on underwater. And um, a lot. And there's video of these things coming out of the sky into the water and also emerging from... They have certain see those videos where they appear in the, in the mind's eye of the magician as weird things like a head of a toad, a head of a man, and a head of a crab. Uh, legs of a spider, legs of a man, all uh, joined together. That's like a calling card, so you know, ah, I've now summoned, say for example, Lord Baal. And uh, at the magician's command, they will take human form, but it's a twisted human form. Saxa Gotha clans and the Saxa Altenburg clans started to say that they were descended from King Sol who is uh, one of the most uh, notorious magicians of the Judaic system. And he wrote many books uh, telling you how to communicate with the Kilipov. And in the official genealogy books in London, you can see that the royal family of Britain, the Buckingham Palace, claim that they are descended from King Solomon. So these tombstones are a very important archeological discovery. Um, a farmer was plowing a field and he found all of these altar stones. Some of these are gravestones, some of them are altar stones, and they're all altar stones from the Roman Empire that were all together and buried them into the ground in one field, as if they were embarrassed about these horrible demons that the um, that the Roman Caesars worshipped. <clears throat> hey, that's insane. I mean, that's basically how we do it on this channel. We start off with Meek Mill over here bending over for Diddy, and then we end off looking at some crazy demons and crazy other videos that would honestly be very shocking. But comment down below what y'all think about this whole situation. Do y'all think I deserve that 100 k for the investigation that I did online? You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, look it. I think I, I think I did the work. You know what I'm saying? Smash the like button, subscribe, turn off post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. The same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love ya.